Welcome to lecture 20. We are studying basic electrical engineering. Today we will start studying AC circuit analysis. Uh, for AC circuit analysis, we have two additional components inductors and capacitors. The units for inductors are Henry, and for capacitor, the units are Farad. But if we use in circuit analysis, we need to solve for current and voltages, and we need the equivalent in terms of ohms. To find those reactances, which we will discuss in our next lecture, we need some background that is complex numbers. We have already studied complex numbers in elementary classes. A complex number is a composite number containing a real and imaginary part. It can be drawn as a point in a plane where on x axis we plot real part and y axis we plot imaginary part. In most cases, we call the real part as x and imaginary part as y. What's the difference between a real and imaginary part? Let's see. A real number is a set of the real number set contains all possible numbers in the world. Between any two numbers, there are infinite numbers. Between 7 and 8, we have 7.1, 7.2, 7.9, and then 8. And then between 7.1 and 7.2, we have 7.01, 7.02. So between any two real numbers, there are infinite numbers. So it contains all possible numbers in this world. Imaginary numbers are real numbers, but they contain a square root, a square root of a negative number. That is, that cannot be solved using ordinary methods. Minus, for example, minus y squared, the square root of minus y squared. It can be solved by separating this minus and y, and y squared. So minus 1 can be multiplied by the y squared. This becomes minus 1. So this is a times p square root can be written as square root of a times square root of p. So this can be written as y. But this minus 1 square root is given a special name that we call iota or j. For electrical engineers, electrical engineers usually use the letter j for iota. Why? Because they use small i for currents most of the cases. Right. So, <clears throat> the combination of the two, the real and imaginary part, is the complex number. So, one possibility, one possible form of complex number is this. Complex number, usually represented with a z, is x plus minus jy, where this part is real part is y is imaginary because there is iota j with it. Complex number, there is one other form for complex number that we call as polar form. So complex numbers can be as in terms of can either be represented as rectangular in its rectangular form or in polar form. We use words R, letter R for rectangular and P for polar. In rectangular form, it is like this. Z equals X plus minus J Y. In rectangular form, the same number C can be represented by the magnitude and J Y. Let's see graphically what does this mean. That's it. On X axis, we have real. On y axis, we have imaginary parts plotted. This for this point is a complex number. So all the points in this plane, the whole real, you pick the whole complex plane because x axis represents real and y axis imaginary. All the possible points in this plane represent complex numbers. So let's see what this complex number represents. This distance is x. This distance is y. So, one way to represent this point is this x and this y. This we call as a rectangular form. The other way, yet another way to represent this number is let's draw a line from region to the point and call it r. Theta is the angle from positive x axis while we are moving in counterclockwise direction. So, r and theta. This is, one, this is another way of representing the same number. The same complex number. So these are two ways and these are two forms of complex numbers which we, which we usually use in circuit analysis. This is 
set analysis. How are we uh, move? How, how do we move between rectangular and polar forms? Let's talk about the interconversion. Suppose I want to go from rectangular representation to polar representation. I'm given a rectangular number and I want to find out its polar form. In other words, I'm given x and y and find r and theta. r and v. What is r? According to Pythagoras theorem, r is the hypotenuse, y is perpendicular, x is the base of this triangle. So r squared is x squared plus y squared. Or r can be written as the square root of x squared plus y squared. Whereas theta can be represented as what is tan of theta is perpendicular over the base for this triangle for this triangle is y over x or we can represent theta as inverse time inverse time of y over x. So this is how we move from rectangular to quarter. Given this rectangle the number x and y, we find out r and theta using these two expressions. Right. We can go other way around from polar number. We can go to rectangular. Right. In this case, we are given r and theta to find x and y. Given r, how do you find x? x is the base of this triangle. x, what is x over r? Is the base over hypotenuse. We know from elementary classes this is cos of theta. Or x equals r cos theta. Right. What is the ratio between the perpendicular over hypotenuse y over r? From elementary classes, we know it's sine of theta. Or y is r times sine of theta. So this is how we convert to a rectangular representation given r and theta. The polar parameters. In the next lecture, we will talk about some arithmetics of complex numbers. Arithmetic means addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division that we usually use for circuit analysis. Thank you.